Welcome in to the 24-7 Sports Channel. I am Travis Brennan, a national recruiting analyst here at 24-7 Sports, joined today by our national director of recruiting, Eric Bossi. We have officially debuted our 2025 rankings, and at that top spot is none other than Cameron Boozer, the son of Carlos Boozer himself. This is something that I think we're going to be discussing quite a bit about over the coming years. Uh, but to start, he is our number one player, Eric. In your own eyes, what was it that separated him from the rest of the pack? Really everything that he does. And this is no disrespect to anybody else because there's some really great guys right behind Cameron Boozer. But for a kid who just turned 15 in the middle of July, what he's able to do from a skill standpoint and a competitive standpoint as a six foot nine power forward really sets him apart from the pack. You know, his dad was a mean dude back in his day and the apple didn't fall far from the tree um you know he doesn't scowl at people or anything like that but he competes he's physical he seems to grab every rebound he can shoot he can face up an attack off the dribble he's a dynamic passer pretty much everything you would want out of a young next level four man he does it we've compared him to Paolo Boncaro quite a bit here and you could see a lot of it and quite frankly he's further along than Paolo was at the same age so Again, he's got great competition, but Cameron's really just set himself apart from the pack at this point. One of his biggest competitors uh, for that top spot that we are going to have a ton of debates and conversations on is Cooper Flagg. Um, but there's also some other very intriguing and extremely talented players behind them. It's looking like a big four or a big five in this class. Tell us a little bit about those guys. It really is. You, you mentioned Cooper Flagg, who is our number two player. He's a six foot eight. Very dynamic forwards. You could call him a four. You could call him a three. Just call him somebody who's got to be on the floor. He's probably the best defensive player in the class. He can really legitimately guard one through five at this stage. He's a big-time athlete. Like Boozer, he's a big-time competitor. Um, you know, when they've met head-to-head, -head, Flag maybe just hasn't had the firepower around him to, to really be able to take Cameron out. But it's going to be interesting to see. They're both in the state of Florida now, even though Flag is from Maine. So that's one to watch. But, you know, the other guys behind him aren't too far off. At number three, we've got Koa Pete, another one of these dynamic six foot eight ish forwards who can play at the four or the three. He's from Arizona. He's a big time rebounder, um, sturdy guy. His brother, Anders Pete, is a all NFL performer as a as a defensive end. So he's got some great athletic bloodlines going for him. And he's another guy who's skilled and can go off the dribble. And then at number four, really uh overtime elites, Bryson Tiller. Again, a six foot eight, six foot nine-ish dynamic forward who can do so many things off the dribble, on the catch, as a shooter. Really, what we're seeing with these top four guys is the future of where basketball is going at that four position. Versatile to guys who can move around. It's really going to be a lot of fun to watch them battle and compete over the next couple of years and see who else can come in to challenge them for that kind of top four stop, top four status. Absolutely. This 2025 class really has a chance to be special. Uh, it's something we don't say often, but this class really does have a lot of promise early on. Tons of talent, and it's looking like quite a bit of depth as well. Um, so for the rest of the 2025 rankings, you can find that list over on 247sports.com. And also, you can go over there and catch all the latest news and analysis. We'll see you guys soon.